Okay, back for another video on the problems with the Nikon Z6 III, and we're talking about noise and most specifically a flashing image in noisier situations in a video. Go and check out my previous video on this if you haven't seen it already and you're just coming to this one. But essentially there appears to be something wrong with the sensor. Hopefully this is something that can be fixed in firmware, maybe it's a uh, something they can change about how they're reading out from the sensor, but it's not good. And I'll demonstrate what I mean by turning it on, setting it to its highest ISO and with no lens attached, all fixed settings. And you can see that the exposure is just like the whole screen is just flickering. It's visible on the back of the camera. It's visible in the files too, which is the problem I was having previously. And it varies by ISO, but I believe it to be a constant underneath the exposure. You're just seeing an exposure change overall. So if we stick this down to the uh, the lower of the two native ISOs, which is 800, and you can see it, it looks kind of fine. What I'll now do, I'm gonna record this. What I'll now do is I'll swap to DaVinci and I'll put this file in and we'll raise the shadows and we'll see if it is still flashing underneath. So now I'm going to demonstrate what happens as you go through the ISO range. So if we start from 800, it looks kind of fine, still noisy. But 1000, you start to see the flashing. It's very subtle at this point. And as we go up through these ISOs, you'll see that the screen in general is just flashing and the noise is going to get progressively worse and the flashing really notable until we get up to around 5000 and then it will drop again at 6400. This is because this is the second native ISO of the sensor, seemingly, and we can go up again from there. So it'll get progressively worse. You'll see this significant flashing sort of effect, and it gets really, really bad as you get up towards the maximum ISO. This isn't good, and it's not something I've seen on any other camera. Um, we're going to take a look on the Z9 now. I'm going to do the same test. So I'm going to set it down to uh, its base ISO of 800 for, this is all for log footage, by the way. Hit record and I'll start going up through them. So at 800, 1000, 1250, 1600, 2000. This is a different uh, second native ISO at 4000 instead of at 6400, which is on the Z63. And then we can keep going on up from there. If you see any flickering on this, it uh, only appears very briefly and it appears to be something tied to it shifting exposure or trying to smoothly shift exposure. Maybe this is the underlying problem on the Z6 III and it's something that can be fixed. That would be nice. So 10,000, 1280, 1600, 20,000 and 25,600. So as you can see, it doesn't have the same constant flashing issue but you can see a couple of times when it seems to have that color cast shift potentially this is something that they've fixed in firmware on the z9 maybe it's something that they can fix on the z63 as well but there is a notable difference between them this is totally usable the z63 is not and that's very frustrating to me it's not so much that it's unusable when it's exposed correctly because it looks basically fine. But the, the issue is there under the surface. And so if you get your exposure wrong, which is quite easy to do on that, then if you have to raise the shadows or things like that, it is really bad and it's very obvious very quickly. Now, this is a problem for me as somebody who films myself, probably less of a problem if you're filming other things because you can manage the exposure more easily. When you're filming yourself, it's a very frustrating experience to try and make it look good because you have to rely on the camera. You've kind of got to use an auto exposure of some description. You've got to rely on autofocus. You've got to make sure that your microphone can't clip all these sorts of things. And then you can't really 
monitor it whilst you're shooting because you're trying to remember what you're saying, you're trying to talk to the camera. It's a frustrating experience and you need a reliable camera that performs predictably. And the s 52 x does that for video. The Z6 III does not. But anyway, that's my additional coverage for this issue on the Z6 III. Thank you very much to Waveland who performed his own tests and put them in the comments of the previous video very much appreciated and it's nice to see this it's not just me that's finding these issues and he pointed out the uh, native iso sort of uh, jump or drop in terms of the uh, amount of noise thank you very much to everyone else who's commented and please do put your comments down below let me know if you've got any other ideas or any thoughts about this i think i've tried everything that's possible to be tried now and unfortunately it means I'm probably going to be returning this myself before I run out of my return window. It's not really going to work for me and that's very frustrating. I like a lot of this camera. It's very enjoyable to use. It just needed to fulfill the video role for me for it to make sense. Oh well. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you next time.